right so everybody is ready we get in the car organized put it in the baby seat the car seat we have we money we have we crab money so this is my plan we're going to head down to Karani side there are lots of crab vendors there they clean the crabs on spot so i'll give you a look at that also we're going to get some seasonings and other things we need because we are going to make curry crab and dumpling today let we go you pick up my wallet by chance yes all right good pick up the money yes let me go just to give an idea of where we're headed all right you see that there that is the McCoya flag that's the McCoya my center of excellence and where we are going for the crab is right around this area Murtani, it hits in your mouth nice. <laughs> They're doing something for me. This gentleman, what's it here? Andy. This gentleman, Andy. The sandwich man. The sandwich man. Let me tell you, this man was so kind that he sponsored us a box of roast pork and put in. Man, look at this. Oh gosh. Hey, look at all that colors in there. You see, green, red, yellow, orange. Rum, you get a nice char there. That pudding looking nice and moist. <laughs> you make this pudding? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And this is garlic sauce on it? No worries, you're going to make more money out So here. all your sauces are homemade by you? Everything in here. Everything. Except the fork and the box. I don't want to say that. <laughs> I know what to say that. You take the words out from out. Let me let me go. Let me go. Let me see. Mm. You don't want bread with this? You don't need bread with this. But putting it in a sandwich is a good idea. Andy? I love, I love the pudding. I'm telling you. Real good. Maybe on the by the car only wrong about. Check out Andy. She's right there. A lot of vending going on here. What's the name of the doubles again? Yes, K and, K and K doubles. Mm. And people, if you ain't feeling for the doubles, you could come and have a sandwich by Andy. Well, we finally touched down by Nicholas, the crab king here in Karani, right? And he's the one who's going to be helping us today. So, um, Nicholas, what's going on? What's the, what's the price of these crabs? Let me see if you don't have them. Yes, sir. Let me see how this man does operate. Yet. 
One eye out. Good. One eye open, one eye closed. Kind of like me when I sleep in any night. Yeah. So this is this is where you call the hairy crab? Yeah. And how much type of crab oil do you usually have? So we are here, we are here, we have the blue ones here. Right. The blue ones are like 600. Yeah. Um, so in your opinion, what do you think is the difference? Does it have a different taste? No, it's according to how the people like it. Yeah. Well, I personally find that um, I personally find there's not much of a difference in the crab being that when we usually buy crab the crab is usually fresh um, and as you can see they're cleaning on spot for us this is the freshest you'll get anything fresher than this better you just throw the crab inside the pot hole just like that and I think as with a lot of ingredients and a lot of dishes the fresher the ingredients, the better. That's, that's the way to get the maximum flavor from the ingredients that you're putting into your pot. I'm going to get my seasoning and other little things. I'm waiting on my children to come out of the car. Everything cool? Yeah, yeah I see your change of the setters, but it's, you know? Yeah, yeah. Well done, man. Show progress. Yeah. Here's Jeffrey's market, please. Jeffrey, your place looking real good, boy. Yeah, so you were saying that yesterday was even better than today. Yeah, by far. Ah? Can I have broccoli? Yeah. Broccoli? Yeah. Broccoli? Yeah. Broccoli? This is a perfect pepper. Do you see how nice the pepper looks? Yeah, it's looking red red. While they are very fresh, they're still very dizzy. If you can look at the color of the water, it's cloudy, milky, and a lot of strange things floating around. So, I'm just going to give it, I'm just going to give it a preliminary rinse. I am satisfied with the color of how the water is looking here. All right, and now I'm going to soak it with a little bit of vinegar and baking soda. And two to three tablespoons of vinegar. You gotta add a bit more or a bit less. So we are going to be having some dumplings to accompany our curry crabs this evening and really dumpling is something personal. If you want to put cornmeal in there, you want to put some pumpkin, 
or perhaps cassava that's fine that is in, that is entirely up to you and that's the wonderful thing about dumplings they're versatile you can add anything to this flour and you will still end up with a wonderful product so today i'm just going to do a plain flour dumpling so inside this bowl i have three cups of uh, all-purpose flour a uh, half a teaspoon of salt and a tablespoon of sugar add your water gradually because you don't want you don't want your dough to be too too soft you need you need some stiffness in there so that it could hold its shape so notice how the ball of dough looks relatively smooth this is this is what I am looking for this is how I do it I go in and try a technique where I leave a little air pocket here. You did that? <laughs> I'll just give all you a quick look. Making my dumplings. So I'll just give a quick run on how I do my dumplings. I had them boiled in the same pot. I didn't bother to wash it out because I think, in my opinion, this adds to the flavor a little oil. The rest of that green seasoning that I had prepared earlier. Ah, that's great for that. That is not wasting it, I'm telling you. So we just gonna put all the green seasoning a bit. And to this, we'll add dumplings that are just boiled and that just went in the strainer. And some reserved cooking liquid from the dumplings. And some coconut milk. This this is actually what we will be eating with the crab. And I think we could eat this just as is. As I mentioned before, the crab, I soaked them for a good while in some vinegar and baking soda. And I think we're ready to scrub. Yes, we're ready to scrub. As I said also before, I have this brush designated for scrubbing crab. Scrubbing crab. Hello. You're really aiming to scrub it clean. I've got brush out now. I like to pay specific attention to the gundy. You see what's going on there? Yeah, all those things in the corners and the grooves. Even if you open it up a bit, well, this fella clenched tightly. But all in the center there, that is what I'm aiming to get out in every single one of them. I always learn that you, you, you break off the back, you scrub. And you see all these grey looking things here? Yeah, all of that is to be removed. Have some with some of these, these yellow bits. I was taught to remove all of these. All of these things. I noticed on some of the videos that I have been looking at, like for example, Mark Wayne's, when he goes to seafood shops and seafood restaurants, they actually throw the entire crab whole into the pot to cook in whatever way that they are doing and they remove nothing and apparently it's a delicacy in those places i'm not i'm not too brave yet to, to try that at least not with these crabs coming out from where i said they were coming out i guess they would do that to them like when they hold the seafood in like deep waters and stuff sana they don't have much pollution which is water that way Make sure also 
when you scrub your crabs, <laughs> you <laughs> you see what the farm do, boy? <laughs> Make sure when you're f finished with cleaning your crabs. No, anyway, I say that. I yeah, mean, that'd be funny, boy. <laughs> Make sure <laughs> that when you clean your crabs, you see these. These are your best tools. Go and wash your hands properly with nice soap. Get under the nails between the fingers. Wash out your hands before you start to deal with food again. Before I season these crabs up, I will give my hands my hands a good wash with soap. Finish scrub and I will give these a few rinses just until I am satisfied that the water is clear. Time for seasoning. This is a blue crab, right? I was always mesmerized as a little girl that as soon as the crabs hit the heat, they change automatically to red. And next doll, you know, boy, you're that pink that it might be a little sharp. You see in your shadow belly leaves here. Open them up. Make sure you run your fingers through them. If you don't have running water, that's fine. Soak them in some water in a basin. And you go in there and individually wash each leaf partner. But what I love about green seasoning is that you can put anything in your green seasoning. You can put shadow benny, garlic, onion, pimento, peppers, celery, scythe. Yeah, you can put all those things and you will have a great taste in green seasoning. If you happen to not have one or a few of these items, you could still get a great tasting dish. So it's really what you want. If you want, depending on which herb you really want to stand out, you use more of that. I love the taste of shadow benny and garlic, especially in my curry. So I will go a little heavy on the shadow benny and garlic, but I have side in there, celery in there, onion, garlic, pimento, peppers. I have some thyme, but I'm not going to blend up the thyme because this is look so pretty whole so in the pot. This will look very pretty in the pot, whole as is. Come and get your lips, eh? Let me see, snap. This is about a teaspoon and a half of salt. I always go shy on the salt because I could always add salt. You could always add salt afterwards. You can't take out too much salt. You can take out some, but it'll still be a little salt. Black pepper to taste. Some of the um, green seasoning. Train all that time inside it. Some people don't season their crabs with curry, but I choose to do it. Curry has a way of seeping into things. You ever find that like if you carry to school a curry in your book bag? Uh -huh. And when you come home, all your books smell like curry. I'm telling you, boy. I don't know why they don't make a cologne that could last longer like curry. So because I don't have the luxury of time this evening, I will leave this to sit and marinate for maybe about 15 minutes and then I'll start to cook. If it is I had time to play with, I would have definitely leave this for a couple hours. When do you have time enough? Take it out. This is a carapile tree. It's a curry leaf tree. This is something I always add to my curry. But the batchat having the fun with it, I'll just take the more mature leaves that I see in here, a couple branches, and hey, watch, even if you don't have this, you're still going to get a good curry. It's not a must, it's, it's a preference. Some people like to fry the curry and some people like to mix it in water and then cook it out. I personally find either way is fine. I find too much. So this is about a tablespoon of curry. About a tablespoon and a half of curry goes in there. Oh, yeah. 
parsley leaves and some of this nice green seasoning and we are just going to let that curry take its time and cook fry let go everything all the flavor smoke color no boy Look at how we're going to change the color. This color is always fascinating me as a little girl. Boy. You see that? Thank you. Cheers! Homegrown, my yard. Hey Kim, you want to go that? Mm. I'll give you a straw. Hey Harry, you know? I hope you know stop by with coconut in them because my hand too expensive. Yeah. So you need my first cup of water. I'll let this cook take its time and cook. You want the heat to go all the way through the crab and cook the pieces of meat. And maybe in the meantime I'll find a way to dump this smoke boy. Oh, it's a really nice evening. Oh, good. <laughs> I want to talk everybody. When I catch a crab. I'll let this water cook the crab dry down and we'll add in the coconut milk powder water afterwards. I'll let that take its time and oh. enjoy the vibes. I might add two of these peppers while frying up in the curry because you know we love curry crab with a lot of pepper but because my kids love crab too i will not put the pepper today but feel free to put as many or as few as you like oh, none at all you need your therapy and when i sit down with my plate of food this evening my family and my surroundings will see my therapy yeah it's coming along really nicely the sauce is getting thick it's not as thick as i want it to be just yet so i'll give him a few minutes again i believe i got what i wanted so let's take a quick taste test this is good this is really good mm -hmm. but of course the only thing missing for me is the pepper but I know how to fix that. You serious? 
Yeah, but it's nice. Mm hmm. I always heard certain people describe Scotch bonnet pepper as fruity. And I was like, well, what are they talking about? We know pepper in Trinidad to be hot or bitter. So when I heard someone saying fruity, a Scotch bonnet pepper is fruity. Well, let me tell you, if you really allow your imagination or your mind to think along those lines, you will detect that fruitiness that they were talking about in those videos. I don't want to sound as if I'm tooting my own horn, but when it's tasting good, it's tasting good. It's delicious. I feel like I gotta stop taping it because I really think I don't want this myself here. Though. Oh gosh, sorry. look at that. Look at that. I am going to sit down and finish this plate of food. And I will take a rest after. And probably head back for seconds. Right? So, just want to let you all know this is, this is my very first video on my channel. Ellis, food and more. We have food and we have more. I want to thank everybody uh, for allowing me to, to tape them today, all the vendors. And I'm thanking my entire family <laughs> because today was a stressful day. It started off very stressful, but it ended off very therapeutic. And I want to encourage every single person out there to find your therapy. It doesn't have to be a long process. Take at least a 15 minutes and just recollect your thoughts. I think my daughter is trying to recollect her thoughts right now. And most importantly, I want to thank everybody for joining me, for watching this video today. And I just letting you all know, this is the first of many more to come. So please remember to subscribe, like, and share. I will see you all next time. And until then, be happy, be safe.